You promised me we were going hunting! Bison, we are hunting. No, we're not! We're just looking for stupid figures! You promised I'd get to shoot something! You're not bringing that thing into the next store. Ooh, was that a tiger? Let me shoot it. No, Bison, that was just an angry mom. Hello, everyone. It's your favorite fig hunter, Am Bison. Sorry there's no chase this week. We saw Avengers Affinity War, and well, he's still all shook up from the sexiness that is Thor. Nah, I'm just kidding. He's still crying over what happened during the movie, and oh my goodness. Look at this. GameStop is selling Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite for $30! That game is as dead as my ex-wives, ha ha! Anyway, uh, Chase found one of those stupid little mystery figures. He's been meaning to collect these for a couple of years now, but you know him, always spending his money on stupid figures. Well, he found this one on clearance for about $3. I don't know, he couldn't really get the price right. Well, we posted this to his Instagram page, and I thought it would be nice to share this with you guys. Oh, I wonder who it could be. Hurry up, Chase. Open up the stupid bag. Come on, tear into it. Why aren't you wearing your gloves? What's wrong with you? You're that guy with the gloves. Ooh, gold dust. Yes. The little minifig of shattered dreams. Look at this thing. Looking off to the side. Some nice gold paint. Ooh, that's some clean design work. Take note, Mattel. Uh, you don't think I've noticed your lack of quality control? But trust me. And Bison notices all. Okay, this is this is cute and all, Chase, but let's move on. Ooh, Deadpool. And look, he comes with a Nerf gun. And what appears to be an airsoft gun. And for some reason, the decapitated head of a cat person. Well, now it's time for Toys R Us. Oof. AJ Styles' wrestling buddy is selling the nut shot from Shinsuke Nakamura. So what do we've got here? We've got this giant metallic Triple H statue, which Chase refuses to buy. Oh, but look at the cute little belt. We should buy that and put it on our Goldust mystery figure. Goldust deserves to be WWE Champion. I mean, come on. The guy's a 10-year WWE veteran. Ooh, D'Lo Brown, and oh, he's missing the European Championship. Who stole it? Was it this guy? Wanted the fix Whopper. Reward 1,000 bison dollars. Was it you, Psycho Sid? Did you steal D'Lo Brown's European Championship? How dare you? 10% off action figures. Come on, Toys R Us, you're closing. Make the figures cheaper. Ooh, look at this helmet. I should buy it for Chase. As we all know, he's a little special. Ooh, we got Finn Balor, Brawny the Straw Man, the New Day, and I wonder who's on the other side. See, come on, Chase, turn the helmet. Ooh, we got AJ Styles, Seth Rollins, John Cena, Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns. Uh-oh. This is what happens when the parody is better than the original, folks. Hearing the news of John Cena and Nikki Bella has upset me. And look at Vince McMahon. Look at him. He's disgusted. He's upset, too. We're all upset, Vince. Oh, but speaking of happy couples, it's Ant-Man and the Wasp. Look at those stupid little antenna. Where they get better cable reception. Oh, we got Scarlet Witch and Vision, and oh, the least said the better. Ooh, look. Koopa Shell footballs. I want one. I want one in each color, especially red. Hmm. Ah, uh, here we have some Nickelodeon toys. What is this? Nick Jr.? Nick at night? Yeah, I got nothing. Ooh, Iron Man helmet with hero vision. I probably can't wear it because it doesn't have villain vision. Ah, life is so cruel to me. Okay, now we're off to Walmart, Walmart, Walmart. Ooh, wait a minute. Do my eyes deceive me? Are we about... To get those hands? Yes! It's Elite 58 Braun Strowman! And he comes with an ambulance door for, oh god. He comes with an ambulance door for the ambulance that's gonna take Mickey James to the hospital to get this face fixed. She looks like the Joker. Oh, more Elite 58. Who do we got here? Why, it is Woken Matt Hardy. But we already purchased this figure from Amazon, so yeah. We got him. Ooh, look at this. That's pretty neat. Look at that little creature guy. He's just so happy. Oh, here we have some entrance grades. There's Kurt Angle, and oh my goodness. Look at this. It's Jeff Hardy. And, well, something's wrong with his face. 
Looks like somebody took a highlighter to all these figures. Damn it! I hate it when people take highlighters to my figures, or markers, or anything like that. If you're gonna customize a figure, learn how to do it correctly. Ooh, Becky Lynch, 100% bad lass. Ooh, just flirting with the edge of PG right there. I like it. Here we have AJ Styles and this really neat ring gear. I like it. Looks like he's a part of the Bison faction or the Shadowloo Network. Ooh, that's a brave move, putting him in front of AJ Styles. All right, who else do we got up here? Oh, we got the new Rhino Basic. This one is a million times better than the Elite. What were they thinking? That Elite is terrible. Ooh, Scotty too hotty, yeah. We need to get one of these so we can make a Grandmaster Sexy custom and oh, Alicia Fox. Oh, I like it. And I don't think Chase bought it, but I would have bought it. Oh, it's the Raw GM Kurt Angle. That's a pretty nice looking figure. Let's see, who else do we got here? Um, Captain Hammer? Oh no, that's Nathan Fillion from his character from Halo ODST. I love that game. And uh, Arbiter Theo Van Dam, Like Rob Van Dam, Arbiter Rob Van Dam. I love it. Ha! Uh, here we have Mjolnir. I tried to pick it up, but for some reason it was just a little too heavy. Ooh, look at this. Look at this nice Batman figure. And uh oh, now we've reached the clearance aisle. Looks like they just cannot decide on a price for those bushwhackers. Got Apollo Crews, Brutus the Barber, Big Cass for $15. Damn it, Walmart! Are you taking your cues from Toys R Us? That is not how you clearance a figure. Look at Rusev's face. Look at it. It should be $1. Let's see. Now we're off the target. Ah, Domino. Looking nice. Ooh, Mockingbird. Look at her. Very, very nice. Or is that Songbird? I forget. I'm not a Marvel guy. I just beat them up in the video games. And there's Miss Marvel, and oh my goodness. That, no. Oof. Let this be a lesson to you kids. Look at how good you have it with Marvel Legends now. Misty Knight with the derp face. Ooh, there's Asuka, and oop. Her mask is leaking jello. J-E-L-L-O. I should be the new spokesperson for jello, seeing as how Bill Cosby's going to jail. Is that a little bit, is that a little too topical for you kids? Okay, well, here we have the Authors of Pain. Gonna wait for the Elites. Seriously, these basic figures are almost as expensive as Elites. What are you thinking, Target? Ooh, it's King Bucka! We should buy one of these and make a Bobby Lashley custom. I still, well, we still have one of those, uh, one of those, uh, Jack's Bobby Lashley heads that, um, what's his name? Wadfigs. I don't like that guy, but Chase likes him. Anyway, there's a Rusev and a Luke Gallows. Ooh, Biggie, but he doesn't come with any pancakes. What is this? Get the new elite that comes with pancakes. We got Harlem Heat. We got Harlem Heat Dose. Got Battle Packs. There's Tugboat. Uh, we got John Cena and Batista, Dean Ambrose and The Miz. Hmm, don't really need any of that stuff and I know Chase isn't collecting Marvel Legends right now, but come on, Star-Lord and Ego and... Wait a minute. Eleven ninety-eight Sold! To a bison dollar quadrillionaire. Ah ha ha. That's amazing. Well, folks, thank you very much for checking out this all-bison episode of Figure Hunting. Why don't you check out some other videos we have on the channel? And we'll be back very soon with new reviews, animations, figure hunting, all the pain, all that stuff. Love you. Bye-bye.